Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel. Tonight I'll be doing the round 10 tips for the 2022 NRL season. This is also Magic Round, so if you're new to Ruby League or the NRL, all matches will be played at the one venue, and that venue for the last few years has been Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. There's some really good matchups this week, some potential game of the rounds. So let's start off with the first match, which is kicking off on Friday night. The first game to kick off Magic Round is Canterbury Bankstown up against Newcastle. Sees Canterbury in 15th place up against Newcastle, who were rock bottom in 16th place. Could be a potential spoon ball match further down the line going into the back end of the year. Canterbury Bankstown have won seven of their last ten matches against Newcastle, so they're definitely a bully side for Newcastle. And Newcastle have lost seven matches in a row. They haven't won since round two. Um, they were better last week against North Queensland, but once again, they, they lost by 13+. plus For Canterbury, I didn't get to watch the game against Canberra, but apparently they were very poor. Um, that was a false dawn, I think, with them beating Sydney Roosters there. I thought it might have been a turning point, but they're back to where they started. I will go for Canterbury, though, to win this match. I will go for them to 1-12 with no confidence. I, just, uh, I can see them getting the victory over Newcastle on the Friday night. The second match on Friday is Manly Warringah up against Brisbane. Manly in 7th, Brisbane in 8th. Bizarrely, Manly are the home side for this match, despite it being played at Suncorp Stadium. Brisbane have won the last three matches in a row. This is a very tough match to call because both sides have had some very good performances to start the year. They've also had some very poor moments as well. So this is a match that could go either way. I think with Manly, though, they do have Homoli... Okolowatu coming back into the side. Tom Trevojevic is back, as we know, last week. That's a massive inclusion. Uh, and Brisbane have been playing very well this year. That, um, As I said, though, they have had some patches where they haven't been particularly good. Uh, for this game, I will go for Manly to win 1-12. I think this will be a very tight match, but I just think with Trevojevic in the side, I think that Manly can get the job done in Brisbane. The first match on the Saturday sees New Zealand up against South Sydney. New Zealand in 10th, South Sydney in 9th. South Sydney have won 11 of their last 12 matches against New Zealand, so they definitely have the wood over New Zealand in recent years. Of course, their last match that they played against New Zealand, they beat them 60 points to 22. That was last year in round 19. New Zealand have been very indifferent to start the year. They've put in some performances and in all the performances they've been absolutely shocking and South Sydney have been very indifferent as well very hard to pick um, I got very bad vibes about them with, even though they beat Manly I had a feeling that maybe that win was kind of masking some problems that they had and that was shown against Brisbane I will go for South to win this match though I'll go for them to win 1-12 I'm confident that they can beat New Zealand on Saturday in Brisbane the second match on Super Saturday sees Gold Coast up against St. George. Gold Coast in 14th, St. George in 11th. Gold Coast have lost their last five matches in a row. Looking at the head-to-head -head between the two sides in years gone by, it's been pretty even. Both sides have scored wins against each other. And St. George uh, have been playing okay this year. They, they have had some good performances. I'm not really going to count last week that they have a very poor record in Melbourne so I'm going to ignore that game and how they played in that one I'm focusing on their match against the Gold Coast here uh, the Gold Coast without David Fafita still he's out for another four to five weeks that's a massive blow for them I will go for St George to win this game 1-12 I'm confident they can bounce back after last week they're playing a Gold Coast side that are down on form down on look so I'll go for St George to win 1-12 on the Saturday and the third match to talk about on Super Saturday is Melbourne up against Penrith. Top of the table clash, Melbourne in first, Penrith in second. The last four out of the five meetings between these two sides have been incredibly close. We're talking a try here or a drop goal there that's won the game. Um, so there was one match last year where it was a bit of a blowout, but uh, Penrith were without Nathan Cleary. And I think they had a couple of other players out. With Penrith last week, I think that Maybe it's a loss that they needed to have that they were on a on a roll there. But I think sometimes when you're 
at the top you need to have the occasional loss just to maybe rethink where you're going and, and maybe it will kind of bring them back down to earth a bit because for a while there maybe the players were thinking we're kind of unstoppable and nobody's going to beat us um, and with Melbourne I think this is going to be one of their only tests of the year so far that they, they had a test against Parramatta they lost that um, they had the other big match against Cronulla they won that so this will probably be the third test of the year for them to see uh, how they go because they have played some lowly opposition in the last couple of weeks and put on some big scores. Melbourne are also without Ryan Pappenhausen or as I like to call him Ryan Pappenpussy he's out for three to four weeks with a hamstring injury and also Remus Smith is out as well with the pectoral injury so a bit of a, a change in their attack and a few players will be swapped around. Uh, Penrith are unchanged uh, from last week so this game could go either way I think it's going to be a very very tight game I think this is definitely the game of the round of my personal opinion for this game however I'm going to go for Penrith to win by 6 points I think it's going to be another very tight game between these two clubs um, as I said earlier some of these games have been decided by a try I wouldn't be, decided, wouldn't be surprised if this match is decided by a Brian Toto try in the corner or a Stephen Crichton try. So I'll go for Penrith to win by six points and I really hope that they win. Hope that they can get the job done over Melbourne there on the Saturday. The first match on the Sunday sees Cronulla who begins Canberra. Cronulla in fourth, Canberra in twelfth. Canberra have beaten Cronulla Sutherland the last seven times that these two sides have met. However, most Cronulla fans would probably say, well, we won the one that counts. 2016 qualifying final down there at GIO Stadium. Uh, for Cronulla, they're going to be without Will Kennedy and Jesse Ramian, so that's a, a blow for them in the back line there. But I still think that they've got a lot of quality across the park. Um, they have been playing very well this year, Cronulla, been very impressed with how that they've been going about things. And uh, Cambria, it maybe. This could be a year where they're down towards the bottom. Maybe they can turn it around. There's still a long way to go in the season. But I will go for Cronulla to win this match. I'll go for them to win 1-12. I think that's it. they'll be too strong for Cambria on the Sunder. The second match on the Sunder sees Sydney Roosters up against Parramatta. East in 6th, Parramatta in 5th. Parramatta have won... Only four of their last 15 encounters against Sydney Roosters. And I think one of them was in the Auckland Nines as well. And the last time um, that these two sides met, uh, Eastern Suburbs beat Parramatta 28-0. Up there at uh, Mackay there in round 20 last year when Parramatta were going through a very bad spell. Uh, Parramatta, as I said, don't have a good record against East. And uh, looking back at some of the meetings that they have had, East have given Parramatta some... Proper hands, I'm talking by 30, 40 points. So uh, it's not, it's certainly not a team that I think Parramatta like to play historically. But going into this game, they're, they're going to be buzzing off the win against Penrith there on the Friday. I think that they played very, very well. Hopefully um, for Parramatta, that they can back it up on the Sunday. And they're against an Eastern Suburb side that have been very indifferent to start the year. But they did uh, thrash the goal course last week. This could potentially be another game of the round. I know some people have been seeing that this is going to be better than Melbourne against Penrith. I will, however, go for Parra to win. 1-12. I think uh, maybe it could even be closer. It could be 4-6 to six points that decide this, decide this match. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good game. I think uh, if Parramatta are going to be serious this year, after beating Penrith, they have to go on with it and, and make another statement against Eastern Suburbs. So I'm going to go... Parramatta to win 1-12 there on the Sunday and continue that um, good form that they got off the Penrith match. And the final game to close out Magic Round on the Sunday is West Tigers against North Queensland. West Tigers in 13th, North, North Queensland in 3rd. If uh, Shut the Gates was doing this video, we'd probably see it's a 2005 Grand Final rematch. Um, West Tigers have a very good record against North Queensland in recent times, they won eight of their last ten matches against North Queensland. However, North Queensland's won four in a row um, at the moment, and they're currently sat third, playing very, very well. West Tigers are going back to the West Tigers that we all know. They beat Parramatta in um, South Sydney, but then they lose against St George, and then they get 
done by Manly there, so they're kind of going back to the way that I expect them to play. Um, for this match, I think that uh, North Queensland will be too strong. I'm going to go for North Queensland to win 13+. Plus. I think that they're playing very well, and why not? Let's go for North Queensland to beat West Tigers 13+, plus there on the Sunday. So that concludes me tipping video for round 10 of the 2022 NRL season magic round. Hope you enjoyed these tips. This is a real human doing real tipping videos. This isn't just a robot voice with some music thrown in over the top. So I hope that you like the human touch. Coming up on the Rugby League History channel, I'm doing the episode 4 of the View from the North podcast with Just Rugby League. That will be starting on Wednesday night. 8 o'clock where we talk about all things in the English Rugby League game and if you haven't done so I did a vlog the other day I went and watched St Ellen's against Wigan at Ellen Road there in Leeds the Challenge Cup semi-final it's a good vlog you should check it out but this has been Rugby League History and uh, thanks for tuning in and watching my videos there'll be more videos coming in the future so look after yourselves and I'll catch us all later in the next one alright take you bye for now